Greetings, folks. Today is Friday, February the 15th, 2019. My name is Tom Lane Weaver, and this is Truth Matters. It's the name I've given to my commentary. You like it? Anyway. Okay, I'm going to give you some things to think about regarding Israel. Now, there are some people who believe that Israel is behind Kennedy's assassination, John, President John F. Kennedy's assassination. And in the description here on YouTube, you will see links to what I'm telling you about. And they're all from YouTube. Uh, also, something I do know something about. And that's the attack, uh, uh, Israel's attack on the USS Liberty. Um, and uh, we have a, a link here to a program that says it could not have been a mistake, which was the going uh, explanation at the time. And what bothers me, and if you look into it further, you, I find that the crew of the USS Liberty was abandoned by their own government. And you can, um, if you uh, want to know more about that, uh, go to YouTube and look at Deep in the Water or something like that. Anyway. Uh, but you just go ahead and just uh, put in the address bar or the search bar, USS Liberty, and you'll find out all about it. i give you this link uh, to show that it could not have been a mistake. On that day, Israel murdered 34 people, Americans. And... There's a debate whether it, how how many other people were injured. Let's just it's safe to say it was more than 170. Uh, some people say 171, other people say 174. Okay, I'm not going to get into that debate, but we know it was more than 170. Israel committed an act of war against the United States. And the Johnson administration just patted them on the back and said, good job, Israel. Well, they didn't come out and say that. That was just the attitude that I have received from reading about the Johnson administration and what they did. It's a good thing Johnson's already gone because if I were president, I would try him for treason. Oh, can't do that. Well, if I was president, I'm going to tell you that. If I was president, I would go to Congress and ask for a declaration of war against Israel. And I am going, and, and this is my case. First of all, I think we do need another investigation into the death of President Kennedy. I don't believe our government ever told the truth about that. We do need an, a further investigation into the Israeli attack on the USS Liberty. Now, there are two other things that I've provided links for. Zionist killed Rachel Corey. And you can see about that at the link provided. Now this is something <laughs> this is something that people have been lied to about ever since September eleventh, two thousand and one. Israel did nine eleven. And there's a link for that. And, personally, I believe they had help from the Bush family. 
President Bush, Governor Bush of Florida, uh, a Bush was in charge of uh, the World Trade Center security and so forth. Yes. Israel did 9-11 with inside help from the Bush family. And I will provide a link from that. And it's an article that I've written. It's called Bush Fingerprints. So at any rate, that's what I want you to think about. All this being true, and then there's other there's other things that Israel has done against the United States. They have committed espionage against the United States. And if you don't believe me, believe me, look up the name Jonathan Pollard. They have committed espionage against me. They may have killed, had something to do with the death of President Kennedy. They did attack the USS Liberty. They killed Rachel Corey. And they may have did 9-11. How in the world can we call these people our friends? Any other nation... Any other nation would have done to the United States what Israel did would not exist today. I guarantee that. Even Canada, our next door neighbor, had they done to us what Israel has done to us through the years. Do you think they'd exist? Hell no! They'd be a part of the United States today. At least, <laughs> at least they should be. And, and people south of the border has never done anything like this. But you know, Israel gets all kinds of aid and comfort. So if I were president, the first thing I would do, one of the first things I would do, in the first days of my administration, I would declare Israel an enemy of the United States. Therefore, any time after that, any aid and comfort going to Israel from anyone in the United States, including John Hagee, would be brought up in charges of treason. That's the first thing I would do. So, folks... These are something for you to think about. About Israel. That's Truth Matters for today. Thank you for listening.